Hi, this is Dean Julia from Historic Trinity Episcopal Cathedral with a short take for your prayer and your pondering this week. You know, this very week, the Episcopal Church remembers William Tyndall, born in 1494, died in 1536, on our calendar of saints. Yes, we have one. Now, you won't find him on a Roman Catholic calendar sanctorum, however, because he was a principal architect of the English Protestant Reformation. Tyndale is chiefly known for his English language translation of the Bible, the first to draw upon original language sources and be printed on a press. Hence, it received wide distribution and was profoundly influential across the British Empire. Like so many of the brave European reformers, Tyndale received both praise and threats. He was not a fan of papal authority, which pleased King Henry VIII, but nor was he a fan of the king's serial divorces and marriages. Tyndall was ultimately executed for his theological positions. He wasn't the only one. But he kept his own prayer-informed counsel and never wavered from his commitment to making the Bible accessible in common languages. You know, it's hard to imagine the extraordinary courage of Tyndall and his Reformation colleagues, as few of us have been or will be called to live out our Christian faith in this way. But this isn't, isn't this exactly why we take time to remember these saints, these forebears in faith? They remind us to give thanks for their witness and also to be faithful in the smaller commitments that we may be called upon to make in our own context. Where do we stand our ground for the good news of God and of equal importance? How might we support each other in the courage of our convictions?